Five Dollar Dinners and host of the Dinner Made Easy Show. And tonight we are making taco bites, and you'll see right there is the bag of the scoops. We're talking about scoops tonight. So here's what I want to share with you about taco bites. We're going to share how to how I like to cut up a green pepper. We're going to share about meal starters, and I'm going to share about um, freezer cooking and why I love freezer cooking. If you haven't figured that out about me yet, I have a mad crush on freezer meals. I like to do these almost like a taco bar, maybe, and I'll tell you more about what that means in just a minute. Here's how I cut a green bell pepper, and then we're gonna get to the rest of this meal that I've got laid out here for you. See these notches right here? Let me see how I can do this like this. See that notch right here? Right there, that's the notch I'm talking about. See that notch? And see how there's another notch over here? See how it's like you can line the knife up notch to notch? You tracking with me? Okay. Slice down when you angle the knife notch to notch. Oh, those seeds are being unruly. See, of course, when I'm doing this live, some of these seeds popped out. Normally that doesn't happen. You end up with this nice piece of bell pepper without the pithy white part. And now you can see inside the bell pepper and then you can cut around the pithy white part. You can watch. I'll, I'll keep doing it notch to notch. Okay, so notch, the notch I just cut, you kind of have to do, and of course this is going to be a pregnant bell pepper. All the things that are not supposed to happen when you cut a bell pepper this way are happening. <laughs> Go figure when I do it live. I'll show you in a second. You do the next notch to notch. In this case there were three, sometimes there's four, depending on the bell pepper. And then what you're left with is this nice, set of bell peppers and maybe a tiny baby bell pepper here. Let me get this guy out of here. Seriously, how many? I never get a pregnant bell pepper. <laughs> and then you're left with all this in one piece. It's just so easy to clean up, right? And then you're not like fighting the seeds all over the place. So next time you go to cut a bell pepper, see how that happens? Cut it notch to notch and you will save yourself a seedy mess. So I'm just going to keep dicing this up. I got one stray seed over here. Usually there's no stray seeds. Of course, when I'm doing it on a live video, of course, that'll happen, but oh well. These taco bites, I am doing this with green bell pepper. You could even shortcut this and do this faster just by adding like a dollop of sour cream. This is kind of like whatever your favorite taco, taco talk. I cannot talk. Whatever your favorite taco toppings are, you can put them on here. I'm just going to do, you'll see. All right. There we go. That'll work. I am going to leave these raw because they are going to go in the oven for a few minutes. So they'll soften just a smidge, but they'll still be a little crunchy that way. You could saute these with the taco meat if you wanted to, or you don't have to. So here's what's going to happen. These are the toppings that I'm working with tonight. Bell peppers, salsa, cheese, okay? So what we're gonna do is make taco bites. And when I mentioned earlier about the, like a taco bar for this, this is what I was meaning. Here, I'm gonna do this. I don't know if that will fit. Let's see, sorry, shifting. Okay, this is what, this, there we go. We got it all in the same shot. I'm trying to get on the shot. That's what's tricky about these live videos. So I did pre-brown this taco meat with taco seasoning just for the sake of keeping this video less than eight to 10 minutes. Here's what I mean by this. Let the kids make their own tacos. Like you could almost do like a little taco bar and then like each kid gets a row. Let them do this work, right? I love taco bites because they're easy and everybody will clean their plate. But at the end, look at me making a mess. But at the same time, I don't necessarily want to stand here and fill up all these uh, little taco shells. The kids could totally do this. I mean, I can't do it, but they could, right? <laughs> okay, let's count how many things have gone wrong on this Facebook Live so far. The bell pepper seeds, the pregnant bell pepper. Now I can't scoop. Now the dog's going to start barking. Everybody say hi to Cody. Hook Cody up with some love. He's been outside chasing the squirrels. Okay, you get the idea. I'm not, I'll fill the rest of these up when we're finished, but add a couple bell peppers to each one. Again, I said we're putting these in the oven for a few minutes to melt the cheese, so the bell peppers are going to be on top. They'll soften up a little bit. 
just fill them up. Again, you could do sour cream, you could do uh, guacamole I think would be really awesome. Basically, we're just filling the dippers. Cody is really excited about something. You guys, all right, so that's that. And then we top with cheese. And when you nest them really close together, you can kind of like, can you see these corner in the corner? Oh, you can't, hang on. I should have moved those up closer. Here, you can kind of like just put the cheese over both of them when you get them all snug in there together. Some might fall through, that's okay. And that's that. So let's talk about taco meat as a meal starter. I mentioned that at the front of the video. I love having taco meat, ooh, I forgot the bell peppers. I love having taco meat in the freezer. Um, if you have uh, extra of this taco meat, you could just kind of throw it on a salad. In fact, that might be what I end up doing for myself tonight. The kids can eat these and I'll eat a taco salad. I don't short order cook like that very often, but I don't really consider that short order cooking because we're kind of all having the same thing. So, taco bites, here they go. All right, so taco meat is one of the things that I always have in the freezer. It's just brown ground beef with homemade or store-bought taco seasoning. Sometimes I'll mix in just like a can of tomato paste to give it a little bit more of a tomato-y base. But in this case, it was just taco seasoning with the, ground, the seasoning and the ground beef. So that's what you do. I'll finish these here in a minute. Holler if you love taco. Your next Taco Tuesday is going to be a little bit more fun. Again, let your kids set these up, give them their own row, let them put the toppings that they want on to their tacos, and that is that. Taco meat is one of those great, like I said, meal starters, but it's a meal that um, is just nice to have the taco meat already ready to go in the freezer so that you can have a quick and easy dinner. Um, you just reheat that taco meat and then put together something like this, or nachos, or full-on tacos, or taco uh, lettuce wraps, or whatever it may be. So many things you can do with taco meat that we've got in the freezer. All right, that's what I wanted to share with y'all. Happy Wednesday, hope you enjoy these tacos or taco bites on your next Taco Tuesday. And we will be back next week with another episode on the Dinner Made Easy Show.